This one worth two points. I think she get one. <laughs> Today, I'm here to quiz my non-Muslim friends on how much or how little they know about Hari Raya Haji. Let's introduce them. Hi everyone, this is Jasmine here. Hi, I'm Liz. So to get you guys into the mood, I actually brought you guys a surprise. Okay, what is it? Are you excited? Yes. Don't keep me in suspense, girl. <laughs> I brought you guys ethnic wear. Oh. Okay, so where is it? Behind you. Look at the oh, colors. Oh, girl! I want a pink one. <gasps> so let's get changed. All okay. right, let's go. Oh my gosh, you girls look so beautiful. I know, right? I love that this one that I'm wearing has like very vibrant colors. It puts me in a very festive mood. Yeah. So I'm ready to answer your questions. <laughs> You're gonna slay in this. How about you, Liz? How do you how do you feel? It's actually my first time wearing this. It's so like Dainty. Yeah. You I look like a princess with all the gems. Uh, yes. Details. So what you have on is mm -hmm. a kebaya. What kebaya. you have on is a juba. And oh. what I have on is a baju kurung. Oh. So these are the three ethnic costumes that we usually wear during Hari Raya Haji or right. even Hari Raya Ideal Fitri, which is Hari Raya Puasa. Wait, we'll sorry know. to cut you off. Is this a bit new? It, it can be a bit new because new has a lot kebaya. of what you call these sulams. So sulams are all of these printings. Oh. And I think these printings are more like hand sewn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Ready not? Ready for what? Do you guys see this? Yes, wow, okay. I see. Are what you guys ready it? for this quiz? That's a quiz? <laughs> Are you ready, Liz? Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't look confident, but it's okay. We will, we will try. Help okay. Her. Okay. And we have three categories. We mm. have guess the dishes, mm. which if you do guess the dishes, you get ding, okay. one point. Uh -huh. And then we have spelling bee at two points. Uh -huh. And we have history and culture. Of course, it's one of the hardest and you get three points. Okay. So I will accumulate the points after this. Okay. Whoever has the highest points will win a prize. Yeah. A prize. Yeah. Okay. As a foodie, I would like to say <laughs> I'm gonna ace this <laughs> ace this segment. Okay. So good luck. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Since you girls here look overly confident. Overly <laughs> well. Who wants to go first? Me. The faster Just you get me. it done, the faster wow. I can relax and then okay. watch her. Which category would you like? Um, go big or go home? Go big or go home, she says. Okay, so I want to do the history and culture and my lucky number is seven. So let's do question seven. Okay, so number seven mm -hmm. is name two restrictions during Ramadan. So, so when you say restrictions, you mean you cannot yeah, do? So yeah, during Ramadan, what can we as Muslims not do? Is it correct if I say you cannot eat? Okay. <laughs> That is correct. And drink. You oh, yeah. got it right. Oh. Thank you. I mean, uh, what the can fact I that do? I know it too. All oh. these brains. <laughs> the fact that we didn't even speak about Ramadan and she got it right. Yes. Wow. Why cannot chew gum? Okay, so chewing gum is also still like you have flavour in your mouth. You're supposed to go the whole day without anything in your mouth. No flavour. No, no flavour. Yes. yes. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Thank Three you. points goes to Jasmine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Liz, are you okay? You're looking a little bit stressed. Okay, I think I'm very not confident. So let's do like the first category. Sure. <laughs> Which number would you like? Two. When I flip it over, there's gonna be a picture. Ooh, what is this? Wait, wait, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, it's the something gray. Quay! It's just quay! Yeah, right. Point goes to Liz! It's really just quay. It's quay, yeah. Good job! Yeah. Alright, okay. so Jasmine, would you like to come up and do something? Okay, I want to go for question 7. Or question the, seven. Uh, food. Oh wow. Okay, right. can I flip it up for you? Okay, I'll flip it up myself, okay? Okay, I know this sayur, sayur lode. Okay, so what right. do you eat sayur lode with? Like lontong, right? Yes! Ah, lontong sayur lode. Yes, that is right. Wow! Thank you. Jasmine has four points, Liz has one point. One okay, point. Liz, come catch up. Okay, okay, history and culture then. Okay, what number would you like? Four. So, okay. what are some traditional greetings and well wishes exchanged <gasps> during Hari Raya Haji? Assalamualaikum. Okay, Assalamualaikum is like the general Muslim greeting. Selamat Hari Raya ya, Haji. Yes! <laughs> Okay. Next, who would you like to go next? Okay, I mean, uh, my turn. Okay, I'll do the spelling bee of question 7. Okay, so spelling bee, uh -huh. this word is called makam. I did not read this word just now. <laughs> so, but makam, I'm gonna guess. Okay. It's M A K A A M. Okay, let's tweak it a bit. Uh. If it's in Arabic, would uh. the K be K or would it be something else? I'm confused. <laughs> M A Q A A M. She got it right. Hey, hey, thank you. Plus oh. two points to Jasmine. Okay, so next spelling B one. Pilgrimage. P. Uh huh. I. Uh huh. 
L G R E Pale Green Mitch I R I M I C H She has spelled bigger than that L Pale Green Mitch Mitch A G E Yes <laughs> This one worth she two points, I think she get one. <laughs> Look here, uh, the dishes. First one. Let's see what we have. I know, bandong. Oh. <laughs> My favorite. She, she must have yeah. had this a lot. With milk, without milk, both good. Okay, at least you're not too far off. Come on, yeah, we can catch up. Off. No, I'm gonna go for history and culture, man. Oh, ooh, wow. Is she a competitive girl? Let's go. Okay, so, which number would you like? Number two. What is the significant tradition? About Hari Raya Haji. I know, I know. Uh, J, start with J. Starts with K. Stop <laughs> talking, <laughs> Liz. Start with K? Yeah. Kebaya. Korban. Korban. Ban. Ban. Korban. 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 Since Hari Raya Haji is about giving, I'm just gonna give it a point. Nice. <laughs> I'll go for the big fish. I'll All go right. for history and culture number one. What is the traditional attire one? During Hari Raya Haji, we have the kebaya, the juba, or the baju kurung. Wow! Right. She's so good! Number For six of oh, guess the dishes. Okay. 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 okay, are you ready? Okay, okay one, two, three. Mm. Mirabus! Is it the chili that gave it away? <laughs> it was the chili for me. Yeah. <laughs> the Mirabus, not the, chili, not nice. And the tauge, tauge. Come okay. on, Jasmine, let's go. How do you spell korban? Q U R B A N, K O R B A N, also K. Wow! She gave all kinds. Thank you. Can times two the point. <laughs> nice. Jasmine, I'm so impressed by you. Oh, Please, let's go. History and culture number three. What is the significance of the takbir during Hari Raya Haji? It is the chant or a prayer to worship God. Yes! Mm. So now you guys are tied. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Ragnar does not like this. Okay, I don't Someone like has also. to be the top student. Of course. Okay. Number eight. Number eight of history <gasps> and culture. What time does breakfast ends? Like a general timing. Usually past around seven, but sometimes it goes beyond seven. It depends what time the sun sets. Yes! I love that she Thank explained. <laughs> Number eight. When the sun sets, that is exactly what I said. <laughs> wow! Brains. Okay. How about you, Liz? Um, what number would you like to go for? Now she's leading, yeah? Eight. First category. She's a competitive Guess girl. Guess the dishes. Okay, okay. No, Let's I'm go. not. Okay, here we go. Mm. Just now I got to give answer. Lotong. It's more uh, lontong before you cut it into lontong, right? It comes in this. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Moraba. <laughs> <laughs> she said more about. <laughs> wait, wait, I know. Can I get to part? Get to part. Yes, get to part. <laughs> Why are you trying to say mutaba? <laughs> okay, let's go, Jasmine. Okay, history and culture fine. <laughs> what is the Kaaba? Mm -hmm. And why is it significant to Muslims? Okay, so I read about this. Um, so basically, the Kaaba is situated in Mecca, which is the holiest site for Islam's mm -hmm. world, uh, worldwide, right? So you all basically pray in the direction of um, the Kaaba in Mecca. Yes. Uh, so basically, it is this square that's uh, situated in the center. If I'm not wrong, um, Muslims who actually are able to go and pay or, or do their pilgrimage there, they walk around it and it's just a, a holy structure. Yes, right? that yeah. is right. Right. Thank you very much. Did I get it right? You got it right. Okay, thank you, love. And only Muslims can. For Muslim, it's more to go there to worship oh, and because yeah, it's a I very holy so. site. Right. How about those people who may not have the luxury of you know this kind of instruments? In the desert, just like you know, in a flatland somewhere, they don't have like any instruments or anything to tell where Mecca is basically or where the Qiblat is. So they use stars uh -huh. to help them di direct themselves to determine where the Kaaba actually is. Right. Right. Thanks for sharing. No worries. It's Next Liz. is Liz. Number six <laughs> History and Culture. <laughs> so, what are some traditional sweets and desserts enjoyed during Hari Raya Haji? These, these are some kueh that maybe in uh, Chinese New Year also you guys have. Kueh bangki. Oh. I thought kueh means tart. Kueh means what? Kueh means cake. Yeah, oh, so usually the pineapple tart will be like, oh, kueh tart. Oh. Okay, come on, Jasmine. Let's do guess the dishes number four. Okay. Can I leave it up? Yes. Oh. Number like nasi lemak. It is, it is. Yeah. Number six, spelling B. It's the called Sadaka. S A D A K A H. Okay, the K you change. Q A H. Yes! Jasmine, are you ready? Uh, let's do guess the dishes again. Rendang. 
That's right! Oh, okay. Yes, let's go. <clears throat> Three, guess the dishes. Here. <laughs> Murtabak. Yes! <laughs> okay, last four. We're gonna have to snatch it out, I think. Okay, I'm gonna do number eight. Spell Kambing. Kambing. K-A-M-B-I-N-G. This guy is Malay. Next, list. <laughs> okay, number two. It's called Muasasa. M-U-A-S-S-A. S S S A H. Almost correct. Got one extra S. Next. Can I do number three? So number three, I was spelling me. Yeah. <laughs> it is an Arabic phrase that okay, translates nice. to the festival of sacrifice in English. Yes! Wow, just so how, how do you spell that? E I D A L A D H A. Oh my god, I'm like speechless. She got it. We have <laughs> one last one for okay. this. Let's number go. six. Okay, it's Masjid. M A S G I T. Not, not G I T D. Yes! Oh my god! So I have tabulated the score. Uh -huh. I'm getting energy that says that Liz got 23 points. Yay! And Jasmine has 24 points! Yay! So we have the winner. <laughs> Jasmine is the winner. Thank and we have a little prize for okay. you. Okay, that's it for today. My girls did such a good job. You guys did so well. I had very, very low expectations. No offense. <laughs> yeah, but you guys exceeded all expectations. Thank you, thank you. So today, since you know we had a quiz and all, and Jasmine was the winner. So I've prepared you some of the food that we do cook. Hey, how come there's only two glasses of bandung? Because I won. But since you know, Hairi Haji is the it's the season of you know sacrifice yeah. and also sharing your blessings, yeah. right? From what we learned today, so we can all share this beautiful yeah. food together. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So that's it for today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.